I found a sick and injured raccoon in the road. Guys, right here in front of my car, I just was driving. Are you all right, buddy? Hey, hey, buddy, are you okay? All right, so we got our crate here now. We don't want to spook him. We just want to get him in the crate. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well you will know today's video is absolutely insane. I was driving home last night and I found a sick and injured raccoon in the road. I'm not sure what is wrong with him. We took him to the wildlife rehabber. If you guys want to know what's wrong with that raccoon, if he's still alive right now, what happened to him? Well, guys, you are in the right place, but we're not going to hop right into that right now. We've got a couple things we got to take care of, and I've got to introduce you guys to Charlie. This is Charlie, my male umbrella cockatoo. A good buddy of mine had Charlie for years and no longer could give Charlie the time and care that Charlie needed. So he thought of my place. He said, hey, Jacob, would you be interested in giving Charlie a home? And I said, well, of course, I love birds. I've had birds growing up, and Charlie is just the sweetest little boy right here. Charlie, you want to step up for me? Can you step up? Charlie's absolutely incredible. Charlie just hangs out on my shoulders all day long. We're going to hang out with Charlie right now, but before we hop into today's raccoon rescue, well, guys, we got to hit him with the sloths. We got to check on him. It was a cold winter night last night. We got to see how they're doing. All right, we're heading on in. The sloth should be nice and warm. We've got our nice little heater on in here. Let's head on in. Let's take a look. And we're in. Oh, my goodness. We have Mr. Beansy Boy Bean, my sloth son. How are you doing? So this is Bean right here. For those of you that are new to the channel, this is one of my female sloths. And we have Mr. Suki here, one of our males. This is Suki. And then we have Sid way up top. Now we've got their meals already prepped for the day. They've eaten most of it. So basically their diet every day consists of leafy greens, sweet potato, carrots, zucchini, squash, leaf eater, monkey biscuits. Their daily diet consists of all kinds of good, healthy greens. And Charlie, where do you go? Charlie is a little bit like, what the heck's going on in here? So guys, it's crazy that I get to spend my days every day. I'm just casually in my barn, hanging with my sloths with a cockatoo on my shoulder. I mean. Just what a crazy life I live every day. So we want to see if Bean actually wants a snack. We want to see what Bean wants now. Bean normally loves sweet potatoes, so we got a nice sweet potato, but let's actually try a squash. Do you want this squash, child? Oh my goodness, and Charlie's coming. Charlie wants Charlie. Look at that sloth. What, what the heck is that thing, man? What is that? What is that sloth? So Bean right now is just chowing down on a piece of squash. So like I was saying, their main diet is zucchini, sweet potato, squash, carrots, leafy greens, but look at that. Guys, most people don't know, but sloths have these crazy, crazy fang teeth. So he's just going to use those fangs to crunch and munch on that squash. Delicious, good stuff right there. Now let's see if our friend Suki wants something. Let's see what Suki wants. Guys, comment down below. What do you think Suki would want? Is she going to want a sweet potato? Is she going to want a carrot? Or is she going to want a zucchini? Now, I think I'm going to try the zucchini first. Suki, hello. Can I help you swim? Hello, ma'am. Would you like that? Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, Charlie flew away. What the? Charlie, what the? Charlie, Charlie, why did you fly? What the? Dude, what the heck? Charlie, why did you fly away? Your wings are trimmed. How did you even do that? Guys, Charlie's wings are literally trimmed. You can see they're trimmed. How, how did you fly, man? Hey, step up. St what, dude, Charlie, dude, why, why did you do that? Why did you fly away? What does Slaw scare you? Charlie, can you say something? Can you say, hey, Charlie? Can you say, hey, Charlie? Oh my goodness, Charlie, get on my shoulders. Maybe on my head, maybe on the head, guys. That was scary. Good thing there was an enclosure right here and he flew right in because that would have not been good, but his wings are uh, totally clipped, so I really don't even know how that happened. Charlie, come on my shoulders. Get on my shoulders, buddy. I'm not sure how you did that. Guys, that's a first for me. Charlie just took off on me. That was pretty crazy. Now let's go back to our sloth friends. We walked in spider webs. Ah, spider webs. <laughs> Guys, I was just leaving the sloths and look what this criminal bird did. This guy is literally a criminal. Look at him. Hey, Charlie, why did you fly away again? Charlie, step up. Where are you going? Come step up. I don't, I don't think Charlie likes the sloths. Hey, Zeus. Will you say hello? Zeus, do you want to say hi to the bird? Oh, Zeus is, Zeus is scared of Charlie. Charlie, Zeus, say hi to Charlie. Look, say hi to the bird. No, no, okay. And now that you, and now that you guys got to check out the sloths, you got to meet Charlie the cockatoo for the very first time. Well guys, now we're gonna hop into today's raccoon rescue. Guys, right here in front of my car, I just was driving. 
and I just there's an injured raccoon in the road at night I swear when I tell you guys that it literally never ends I was just driving home and there's something wrong with this raccoon now I don't want to get too close and touch him because he could have some sort of of rabies some sort of a disease but I do want to help this guy hey are you all right buddy hey hey buddy are you okay now I just want to see if I can get his attention I'm not sure what's going on with this guy right here he could have some sort of distemper he could have rabies I'm not sure he might try to attack me but I just want to check him on out see how he's doing how you hey buddy are you are you all are you all right buddy now I may have to go get a crate and get this guy in so we can uh get him some help but he's uh he's not looking too hot right now so guys again I don't want to get too close I don't want to get bit get rabies but I just wanted to stop and check this guy out see how he's doing and see what's up hey hey buddy are you all right man he's not hissing at me which is oh you want to bite the stick he's not hissing at me which is a good sign oh man the lights are off so he just got up right now and he's not looking too good hey hey buddy no please don't come near me i you're very cute but i i don't know what you have you could have a disease and quite frankly i don't i don't want to get rabies tonight I, re I really don't i'm out here by myself right now this is on the iphone front facing camera um i gotta give a couple calls to some buddies of mine that live in the area see if they have a crate because I don't have a crate. I normally have a crate. Well, and I don't have one. So I need to find a crate to uh, help this guy. So he's not looking too good right now. Um, there's literally nothing I can do because I don't have a crate. So the, I just called a buddy of mine um, and he's on the way with a crate right now. But there's nothing I can do but sit here and stand by. Because again, if I get too close and I get a little too um, comfortable, I could get bit. And I'm not sure what he has. It could be a number of things so he's walking very strangely right now it looks like he could be constipated like he's got some sort of abdominal problem right now so i'm not sure he's kind of coming up here in this palm tree but he looks like he could maybe use some metamucil maybe some um phylum husk to kind of get his bowels going but it looks like he could be dealing with some serious constipation just based on that abdominal arch that's what i've noticed in some animals is they'll have that constipation but guys um we're just got away from my buddy oh are you eating that Guys, I think he's eating the berry. Look, that is a tasty, delicious berry, sir. Sir, are you okay? His eyes seem nice and clear, which is good, but you can see he's got that arch, which uh, definitely means he's got some abdominal problems. Um, my leopard nebula kind of did the same thing one time, so um, yeah, guys, I'm not sure what's wrong with this guy. So my buddy Walker's on the way right now, and he, honestly, guys, is not looking good. He's got these little twitches. He's breathing quite roughly now. I'm not sure if this is a girl or a boy. I could find a stick and maybe move him, but I don't want to disturb him and lift the tail up. But, hey, man, oh, I'm going to take a step back because I don't know what you have, and sometimes these guys are quite aggressive, although he seems uh, quite calm. All right, Walker came to the rescue. Walker, thanks for coming. No problem. So we've got our transport crate and our raccoon. Walk, what do you think could be wrong with this guy? He's not looking too good. Look at him. Walk doesn't know. Now we want to get this crate right by him. He's not looking too good, so we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this uh, stick right here, and that's what we're gonna to use to kind of push him on in a little bit. So walk. I think I'll. I can take over crate duty. And all righty. All right. So we got our crate here. Now we don't want to spook him. We just want to get him in the crate. Now I th I'm thinking we're just gonna be able to just push him on in. We want to be really stern about it. Okay. He got a little angry at that, but that, I thought that was gonna happen. Now. We wanted to use the stick because we don't know whether this guy has rabies. Now, this is not the best crate for him, but we got to make do with what we got because he can get your fingers from the outside. So, basically, what we want to do is we want to just block his face while we actually lock the crate. So, we're going to block his face. And we lock the crate. So, the crate is locked. Now, in order to even carry this crate, guys, I think I'm going to stick the stick through this way since we don't really have a, a safe grab on it so if we grab it like this then he can't bite us so that's the safe way to do this so guys let's get him loaded in the truck and we'll go from there well the raccoon is loaded into the truck right now we have him in the truck bed because if it does have this temper well that could spread to other animals my animals potentially so we don't want to even risk that so we have it in the truck bed and guys um i'll keep you updated we're going to call the wildlife rehabber and see what he says well guys i never heard back from the wildlife rehabber um last night so it's now the morning early morning and i'm up and i'm checking on our possum or raccoon i meant raccoon my bad 
Well, I tried calling the wildlife rehabber. I never heard back, and it's the morning time now. I'm outside bright and early, and we're checking on our raccoon. He made it through the night, but he is not doing well, guys. He's not looking too good. Let's take a look at him now. The sprinkler's turned on. He got a little bit wet, which is fine because he's also hydrated. Oh, he's trying to, he's hissing at me. Hey, buddy, please don't hiss at me. We're gonna get you some help. So he's not looking too good. You can see he's got some sort of a, a twitch to him. You can see there's, he's got a little bit of a twitch, but he's a little bit angry right now. But buddy, hey, we're gonna take you to the rehabber. So there's nothing left for me to do on my part besides taking this guy and transporting him to the wildlife rehabber there. They're going to be able to determine what's wrong with him, whether he has distemper, rabies, some sort of an organ problem. I'm not sure the conclusion that they're going to come to, but they are surely the experts at this. So, guys, I'm going to hop in the car. i got to grab this guy. We're going to load him in, take him to the wildlife rehabber, and I'll be sure to keep all of you guys updated. So, that's going to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a really sad video because we're not sure of the outcome, and I feel so bad for this poor little raccoon, but I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on what happens to him. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up again. Comment down below a prayer for our poor raccoon friend. If you want to see any of that, well, guys, make sure you go right now. Hit the subscribe button. Tap that little notification bell, and you all be notified whenever I post.